Hello, and this is Jeremy and my partner Ashraf, and we are Green Geniuses, and we're presenting to you R3, which is reuse, reduce, and recycle. This is aluminum recycling from the waste statistic and recycling rate of 2010. As you can see, there's an 85% of recycling rate for all waste output of aluminum, and we still believe that there's still room for improvement to increase the recycling rate of aluminum. In the cluttered rubbish you see today, we see metals, paper, glass and plastic being thrown together into the common waste bin. Each of these can be recycled. However, when they are cluttered together, they will be sent to the landfills and it costs tedious work to separate them. So the solution is to separate them at the source. To us, cans suggest rubbish that we throw away. But however, by recycling the cans, there's a lot of benefits not only from an eco standpoint but from an economic standpoint also. As the amount of energy used to recycle one can is so much lesser than the amount of energy used to create one aluminium can. By separating them at a source, we can send them each to the designated recycling factories and this will cause less tedious work and also improve the recycling rate of the country in whole. Okay, you may ask why people don't recycle things. Okay, firstly, we, don't, we do not develop the habit to do so since young. Secondly, we do not gain any direct personal benefits from recycling. And lastly, it is inconvenient to do so as we have to search for the recycling bins to recycle. Therefore, our main project concept is to incentivize the act. This is done by depositing a can and then you will earn 10 cents. Thus, the main idea here is to create an incentive where people deposit cans and earn back money. As we deposit a can, the metal detector inside the system will detect the metal can and then the programmable logic controller will then send a signal to the coin dispenser to dispense 10 cents. In the future, we want to improve the system by converting it into a global database. This is done so by making it into a reward system via sponsors. In this way, we will also benefit from recycling. Next, we will also want to allow more recyclables other than metals such as paper, glass and plastic to be recycled in a via the same system. At last, in conclusion, we wish that this recycling system would be able to separate the cans from the other recyclables at the source, also to raise awareness of recycling among the people, to make recycling more convenient, and to motivate recycling in the people, and hopefully to develop a habit of recycling among the people.